Uh, so today I'm going to share about the AWS Certified Solution Architect Study Guide, this book that I found online. Uh, I've been reading a lot uh, for the certification on AWS and I've been following a lot of blogs and a lot of content, but I found this book and it's very organized on the way it presents all the, all the things that you need to know in order to get certified on AWS. So let's give it a, a shot. Uh, basically, what I like of this book, it's the, all the structure that it has on the content. It's divided in two parts. The first part is all the core for the AWS services, and the second part is going to be the AWS Web Architecture Framework. One of the things that I most like about the book is uh, in, that in chapter, in, in, in each chapter, it has the assessment test, uh, and it has the answers for the assessment. So you can like read everything and after that you can take a, a little test there and then you can compare the, the solutions so it's very useful uh, in terms of practice, practicing and and uh, learn all the things that uh, are in each, in each chapter so for the first part we have a i don't know how many chapters i think uh, eight chapters so the eight chapters are divided mainly on the, all the introduction to AWS cloud computing in, in for AWS. So all the cloud computing and virtualization, all the AWS cloud, the AWS platform architecture, the AWS reliability and compliance, and working with AWS. So you will have the summary, and as I told you, you have the exam essentials, the exercises, and the review questions of this chapter. On chapter two, it has everything related to Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud and Amazon Elastic Block Store. So it's all going to be about the EC2 instances, the accessing and securing the EC2 instances, other EC2 instances related services, and the CLI for AWS, and also a summary and the practical questions of this, all in terms of EC2. Then in chapter three, we will find the Amazon Simple Store Service. So it's going to be all about S3 the service and architecture, the durability and availability, and the objective life cycle. Uh, also, how to do the accessing to S3 and the Amazon Glass, Glacier and the storage pricing and other storage related services, among with the AWS CLI example. So you have the summary and again, the exam quest, the exam essentials and the review questions of this. Uh, on chapter four is going to be everything related to the uh, Amazon Virtual Private Cloud. So it's going to be all the VPC and CIGR blocks, the subnets, the Elastic Networks, the Internet Gateways, the root tables, the security, all the network access for public and Elastic IP address, addresses, uh, the network address translation, the network address translation devices, all the VPC peer, and the summary and the exam essentials. Uh, on chapter five is going to be all about databases. So you will have all the relational databases, all the Amazon relational databases, database service, uh, Redshift, and also the non-SQL databases like Dynamo. So all the summary and the exam essentials and review questions for this. On chapter six, we have the authentication and authorization for AWS identity and access management. So it's going to be all the IAM identities, the authentication tools, the AWS CLI example, uh, the summary and also the exam and the review questions. On chapter seven is going to be everything about the cloud trade, cloud watch and AWS config. So it's mainly a lot of, a lot of, of um, like tracking. So you would have the cloud trade, the cloud watch, the cloud watch logs, cloud watch alarms, the AWS config and the summary of the chapter and the exam essentials and review questions. Uh, and finally, in chapter eight, you will have all the domain name system and the network routing for Amazon Route 53 and Amazon CloudFront. So it's going to be the domain name system of Amazon, the Amazon Route 53, the Amazon CloudFront, and the CLI examples, and also the summary and the review and exam essential questions. And in the part two of the book, it's going to be mainly all related to the well architected framework. So we have all the pillars of the Wheel Architecture Framework. So we have the reliability pillar. So it's going to be the calculating availability, the EC2 to scaling, the data backup and recovery, creating resilient network, designing for availability. And also in this part of the book, you will have the exams essentials and the review questions. The next pillar will be the performance efficiency. So you will have the optimizing performance for the core FW services, all the infrastructure and automation, reviewing and optimizing, and optimizing infrastructure configurations, optimizing data operations, the summary, and the exam essentials and review questions. 
Uh, the next pillar will be the security pillar. You will have the introduction, so the identity and access management, the detective controls, protecting network boundaries, and the data encryption, so with all the summary and the exams and questions. And finally, you will have the cost optimization pillar all regarding the planning, tracking, and controlling costs, the cost optimization, and the operational excellence pillars with the cloud formation, cloud commit, code deploy, code pipeline, and the AWS system manager. And the summary and the exam essentials and review questions. So as you can see, the book is pretty, pretty, pretty much complete on, on all the things that you need to know in order to start a new path for the certification. You will have uh, on each index a lot of information for all the all of the all of the topics that the book is going to cover. So uh, as I told you, I found this book very very, I mean very well organized in the terms of doing that the, the things that you need to understand uh, AWS. I mean, probably you 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 know a little bit about AWS, but if you want to take uh, more things into a, a more concrete way and you want to start preparing for the certified solution, <coughs> I highly recommend this book. I'm going to leave the the link to this book. You can uh, acquire this book uh, in Amazon as a paperback or as an ebook or ebook. Uh, so let me know how do you think about this book. And uh, again, it's a recommendation for me in order for you to get the AWS Certified Solution Architect certification. Uh, see you next time. Thank you guys.